Boeing has just conducted a ski jump test of the US F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter jet, to attract the attention of India. Accordingly, the aircraft carrier-based fighter F-A-18 Super Hornet successfully demonstrated safe operation on ski jump aircraft carriers at the Hansa Naval Base in Goa. Two F-A-18E completed multiple ski jumps and landings, demonstrating performance in a variety of combat configurations, from air-to-ground and anti-ship, to meet requirements of the Indian Navy. According to a statement from the US Navy on July 20. During the test, the F-A-18E of the US Navy's 25th Fighter Wing, accelerated and left the ski jump to take off. The aircraft carried at least two auxiliary fuel tanks and a mock-up of the AAM-9X short-range surface-to-air missile. In another flight, the fighter carried two laser-guided bombs, AAM-120 medium-range air-to-air missiles and AAM-9X short-range air-to-air missiles. This is an attempt to convince the Indian Navy to order the US F-A-18EF Super Hornet. France's Doso is also competing fiercely with the Rafale M. The Indian Navy has deployed the multi-role carrier-borne fighter project, to add 26 fighter jets to the aircraft carriers INS Vikramaditya, and INS Vikrant. These aircraft will supplement the fleet of 45 Russian-developed MiG-29K fighters, as well as prepare the force for future catapult carriers. The Indian Navy did not seem satisfied with the performance of the MiG-29K, so New Delhi did not order more despite Russia's repeated offers. Both Indian carriers use ski jumpers and brake cables, which have the advantage of being simple to design and operate, but significantly limit the payload of the aircraft weapons and fuel, and the operation of other types of aircraft. The F-A-18EF Super Hornet fighters aboard US aircraft carriers now all take off using steam or electromagnetic catapults, which enhances short takeoff and landing capabilities, and carry more weapons and equipment. However, they can still work well on older aircraft carrier designs with ski jumpers, although the weapon load is slightly reduced. In addition to the US, France is also competing for orders to supply fighter jets for Indian aircraft carriers, with the Rafale M. The F-A-18EF Super Hornet is an aircraft carrier-based fighter that entered service with the United States Navy in 1999. This is a larger and more modern version developed from the F-A-18CD Hornet. This fighter was ordered by the US Navy from McDonnell Douglas in 1992. Its first flight was in November 1995, the first landing on an aircraft carrier in 1997. The F-A-18 Super Hornet entered service in 1999 with the single-seat E and the two-seat F variants, to replace the F-14 Tomcat. The plane has a length of 18.31 meters, a wingspan of 13.62 meters, and a height of 4.88 meters. The maximum takeoff weight is up to 30 tons. The fighter is equipped with two F414G400 engines, with afterburner thrust up to 98 kN. Super Hornet can reach a maximum speed of Mach 1.6, a range of up to 2346 km. In terms of firepower, the F-A-18 Super Hornet possesses a huge arsenal, with 11 hardpoints on the wings and centerline, allowing the fighter to carry a payload of 8 tons of weapons. It can deploy many types of bombs and missiles for all kinds of air-to-air, air-to-ground and electronic warfare missions. The 
The aircraft is also equipped with an integrated countermeasure system, including anti-missile defense systems, decoys AL-47, AL-50. There is also an Anor 67 V3 radar and an ALQ-65 or ALQ-71 jamming system, standard metric information system Link-16, and so on. Currently, the Super Hornet is still the most successful carrier-based fighter in the world. Besides the US, there are a number of other countries that are also using this type of aircraft. <laughs>